Dare to dream. Dare to love the home you live in. Keystone Kitchen and Bath. Hi everybody, thank you for joining us today. I just wanted to show you a little bit of what happens when we do a kitchen remodel. And also I wanted to be very clear and transparent and let you know what happens. Sometimes a remodel is never perfect. Um, sometimes things go smoothly, but more often than not, they don't. So I just want to show what we did to this kitchen, and then I'll show a little bit of the difficulties that we had. Um, so we just tore out a whole new kitchen. The layout pretty much stayed the same because as you can tell, uh, well, I don't know if you can tell, but we left the floor. So we still have the same flooring that we had before. Um, so the floor stayed the same and it's very crucial to leave the same layout and not to make the cabinets bigger or maybe you could make them bigger you can cut the tile off but you can't make the the uh, the layout that they had before any smaller so for instance if they wanted this any smaller they couldn't because they didn't have any more extra flooring if you were redoing the floor then you can do that but in this case we couldn't we had to leave it exactly where it was and this is exactly where the so in this was. case we had to leave the floor so that's why we couldn't make the layout any different um, also too because we were trying to stay within a certain budget something that we did add was this pantry here that was in here before the cabinets uh, now they go all the way to the ceiling as before they didn't they cut off at seven feet Their molding was a very small crown molding and now we gave them nice big moldings These are about three and a half and then we layered it with another three inch molding as you can see And the vent was actually right here, but it was actually underneath the cabinet but because the the cabinets didn't go all the way to the ceiling. I'm assuming the builder left it there, maybe. Not sure why, but that was there. But now we ended up moving it over here so that we can give the client a nicer molding and um, the cabinets to go all the way to the ceiling. And so we also added this pantry to make it look more feature custom. feature that we did for this, this project is we actually removed the box that was up in the ceiling and we gave them these four uh, pocket lights so it just made the room feel very heavy the way that lighting was before it was just literally a box but the ceiling was raised about six inches or so which really didn't make a whole lot of sense uh, this actually makes the room feel bigger than what they tried to do here I think I understand their concept and trying to raise the ceiling and putting the light box to make the ceiling look bigger but what it really did is it made the it made the kitchen or the space it made the space look heavy because there was wood all around it as well and then they had these these long lighting so this actually worked out better with the lighting and then we also added these two pendant lightings for the new bar top Another feature that we added in this in this kitchen was that the client really wanted a really big and deep sink, but they also wanted something nicer than what they had before. So we added this um, farm sink. We added this touch faucet. Before what they had was a stainless steel top mail sink. So this just makes the kitchen look a little bit richer and nicer. So they got a new range. They got a really nice uh, stainless steel European hood. And then we added this microwave. And the reason why we left this the way it is is so that if they wanted to purchase a bigger microwave in the future, they can. So this is actually a microwave that goes on the counter. So it's not, it's not a, um, it's not a custom microwave, it's just a regular microwave. So that's what they wanted and that's what we gave them. And as you can see, that we replaced their old tile with new tile. So this is very new tile that just came out to the market. It's very beautiful and we ended up going all the way to the ceiling. We went all the way to the ceiling with the tile uh, behind the Euro hood. Uh, 
Another feature I wanted to show you was what we did here with the bar. They actually just had uh, a flat top on here. Uh, they did have an overhang seating area, but they didn't have this raised bar. So what we did, and also to give them a lot more storage, because as you can tell, the kitchen doesn't have a lot of storage. So we raised the bar 42 inches, made this uh, 12 inch overhang here, uh, and then so that they can have a sitting area and put stools. And we actually gave them cabinets that they could use. And that's it for the remodel. Now I would really like to show you the things that happen. Um, well, as you might already know, and how I mentioned in the beginning, things don't always happen the way you would like them to. Sometimes things come smoothly uh, and then you're able to finish a project on a timely basis. That unfortunately didn't happen here. It took us a little bit longer to get it done and the reason for that was because the cabinets were delayed when we ordered them. Uh, also, the cabinets came broken. A lot of the doors were broken uh, and that just happens. That's just part of the trade. There's really not much you can do as far as timing, but you just want to reassure the client that, you know, we're going to take care of it and that we're going to order new cabinets. And luckily for us, we have a very good relationship with all of our vendors. So went ahead and took pictures, sent it over, and the next day they shipped us all new brand, um, they shipped us all new cabinet doors and the boxes that came okay. broken. So another thing that happens, it just seemed like when one thing happens and another thing happens and it just keeps rolling on. So another thing that happened with this particular project was the tile was also delayed. It's a new tile that just came out in the market. So um, this client is the first one to have this particular tile in this line. So one thing or another, it also came late. Uh, when it got here, it was the wrong color. So we had to send it back, and then they sent us back uh, the new stuff, but it was the wrong size. <laughs> so it was just a complete disaster with the tile. Finally, um, we decided that we wanted to add some tile here. So we had to, um, my contractor decided that we only needed one more box, which should have only taken a few days. It took almost two weeks because they brought us all of the black tile. So we ordered all of the beige tile uh, to finish this off here, but they sent us two boxes when we only ordered one box of all of the black tile. So that took a, a, a while too. Um, another thing, and this is, I will take complete responsibility for this one, the vent, was actually over here and it was my fault and I took responsibility and ownership for it. Um, I told the client that we were going to move it over here at no additional cost and that's just because that was something that I made a mistake on. They didn't know um, that they would have to pay for it or they didn't budget for that in the beginning when I gave them the quote so I went ahead and told them that we would Go ahead and do it for them and that's something that we would do if we see that something that if we made a mistake then we take completely we take complete ownership of it and we just you know we just do it so that was another thing and that it took us a little bit longer for that just they purchased that. the range from a very big box store i won't mention the name but they didn't send them the plug so my contractor was here um and they didn't have the plug and also i think um one i guess the wattage was wrong but anyways they figured it out they sent them a new range um and then that just delayed us a couple days so no big deal but as you can see little things like that will still delay your project i just wanted to show you and be very transparent on what actually happens when you do a remodel and I just wanted to show that things don't always go smoothly. Yes, sometimes things go a little bit easier and a little bit nicer, but not all the time. And this and this was one of, at least for us, it was one of ours. 
Um, so thank you for watching and let me know if you have any questions. Make sure you can either call us or send us an email.